Okay, guys, so this is Wimberly Worried, and it's by Kevin Hinks. Let's get going. Oops. Wimberly Worried about everything. Big things, little things, and the things in between. Wimberly worried in the morning. She worried at night. She worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard and the crack in the living room wall and the noise the radiators made. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father, but Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wimberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wimberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. But then she worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there's nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried because she was the only one. Wimberly, you worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wimberly had a new worry, school. Wimberly worried about the start of school more than she had ever worried about anything before. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried, and she worried and worried. She worried all the way there. Well, while Wimberly's parents talked to the teacher, Miss Peachum, Wimberly looked around the room. Then Miss Peachum said, Wimberly, there's somebody I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes and she was holding a doll. At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved, Niblet waved. Hi, said Petal, hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet were side by side too. Wimberly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wimberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, said Miss Peachum, as the students walked out the door. Wimberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said, don't worry. So that was Wimberly Worried by Kevin Hinks. It's not so bad to go to school sometimes, and sometimes when we're worried about things, they end up not being such a big deal. Wimberly was worried about a lot of stuff, and. It ended up not being a big deal, right? Right. If you're gonna take the AR test on Wimberly Worried, make sure that you've read it a couple of times. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.